Before we head inside Cardinal Elementary School, Superintendent Jason Cameras and his leadership team, they gave us an update on the progress of the cleanup efforts so far. The bulk of our damage right now is water damage, and so that's what we've been working on. Currently in the building, we have about 80 people inside working. Tomorrow, that number is going to increase. They are gonna work through the weekend, uh, around the clock, to ensure that the, the cleanup is happening and happening appropriately. RPS says the damage impacts 16 classrooms, mostly second and third grades. When students return, their teachers will hold class in the gym and multi-purpose room for no more than two weeks. That's also how long they say crews will take to repair the hole in the roof caused by Monday's lightning strike. Inside the classrooms, plastic covers desks and supplies. Dozens of fans blow throughout the hallways. Crews continue to replace many ceiling tiles damaged by the water. It's unclear how much this cleanup will cost. But Cardinal Elementary is just three years old, and I asked Cameras if it's frustrating pumping money and resources into a new school. Yeah, but that's why we have insurance, uh, just like you would with your, with your house. Um, we make sure all of our facilities are insured for acts of God and, and things of this nature. And so, um, you know, that's why we, we pay our premiums and make sure that we're covered so that it's not coming out of the taxpayer's pocket and not coming out of the, the facility's budget that we need for all of our schools. Superintendent Cameron says Cardinal Elementary will be ready for when children return after their Labor Day weekend. That's on Tuesday. In Richmond, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News.